Most, if not all, corals that we keep in our reef tanks are listed as threatened species on Sites Appendix 2. That means that exporters need special permits to trade those species internationally, and some countries, like the United States, also require permits to import them because they have national laws that work along with sites. If you have dealt with the permitting process, you know it's not exactly an easy thing to get through, and that leads up to a large number of seizures every year. Now, that's not all paperwork mistakes. For sure, there's some poaching and just outright illegal imports, but it all ends up the same. You lose your coral, it's seized. In fact, did you know that in the United States, as of 2010, we've imported over 500,000 pieces of live coral every single year? Hi, guys and girls. I'm Reef Men, and this week we're talking about a paper published in Ocean and Coastal Management, and it's titled The Trends and Patterns of Imports of Legal and Illegal Live Corals into the United States. The paper is linked down below in the description. Check it out if you'd like more information. As always, I'm not going to cover everything here in the video. Of the corals that we imported into the United States every year, the vast majority of them belong to just two genuses, Euphilia and Acropora. Euphilia contains all of the torch corals, frog spawn, hammer corals, things like that. Acropora, of course, contains all the stony corals, and you know they're Acropora because they have that axial polyp on the end of the branches, and they dominate our SPS reef tanks. Acropora is the most common legally imported coral genus, but Euphilia is the most common illegally imported genus. The authors of the paper used data from both the site's legal trade database and the Lemus Caesar database to look at what corals were most often seized, the countries that they came from, and the ports that they passed through on their way into the United States. Unfortunately, Lemus doesn't tell you why something was seized, only that it was, and so we can really only speculate on the real reason for it not being imported. The authors of the paper did limit their data to only corals which were seized because of being imported illegally, but that's really as much information as we get. Now, between January of 2003 and December of 2012, there were 1,160 coral seizures at ports of entry. That's an entire shipment being seized, not just one piece. On the other side, according to the site's data, there were 6,616 legal imports of coral during the same time period. It turns out that a small portion of the imported genuses accounted for a large portion of the seizures, and the same genuses are also responsible for a majority of the legal imports, but the numbers and percentages don't really line up. Euphilia, Acropora, and Favites, the top three most commonly seized genuses, account for just 27% of all the seizures. In fact, 1,560 specimens of Euphilia were seized during the time period of the study. Of those, 61% of them were torch corals. Acropora seizures were almost all made up of staghorn coral, Acropora cervicornis, and this could perhaps just be due to the difficulty of making a definitive identification of Acropora species. Perhaps customs officials, you know, they're people, they make mistakes in identification, and they may be calling things cervicornis that are not actually cervicornis. Either way, the result is the same, the corals were seized. On the legal side, Acropora is the most commonly imported genus. 1,298 legal imports of Acropora took place, which accounted for about 20% of all the legally imported corals during the study period. Interestingly, the top illegally imported genus, Euphilia, was the second most commonly legally imported one. Illegal Euphilia imports made up about 32% of all of the incoming Euphilia. That's the highest ratio of illegal to legal of any genus. Montipora is the third most legally imported coral, but it's all the way down at number 13 on the list of illegally imported genuses. Now, most of the illegal coral is coming from Indonesia, at least during that time period. So that's something that we can keep in mind as a reef hobbyist, or maybe you own a local fish store, and you might see a large import of Euphilia coming in from Indonesia. It could be worthwhile just being a little bit extra cautious and just knowing that you know, you might be unknowingly supporting an illegal operation. I think the more that we can do ourselves in the reef keeping hobby, the less outside regulation we're going to invite and the healthier wild reefs will remain. Really, I don't think there's really much reason to buy wild collected corals most of the time. It's so easy to get frags of coral or even captive grown colonies that are just 
produced and reproduced in captivity. And those captive propagated corals are going to be hardier and do better in our tanks anyway than a wild collected coral. Now, there are exceptions for sure. Mariculture, for example, mariculture farms are becoming a lot more common. But in general, I really do think we should prefer captive bread or captive propagated coral and especially fish over wild specimens whenever we have the choice. Illegal coral imports into the United States have increased over time. So this is not a problem that's going to go away on its own. It's up to us in the hobby to share frags, to sell frags as our colonies grow bigger, and to get better at just setting up captive breeding programs for fish, maybe even Acropora, and sharing that knowledge to help each other do better for the world's reefs. After all, we are the consumers, we're the ones they're importing that coral for. Take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already. I do try to get a video out each week or so, and I cover topics, you know, like this. Reef tanks and then a slant towards some scientific research that's going on and how it relates to our hobby. I'll teach you all something. I certainly enjoy reading the papers. I hope you enjoyed. The illegal importation of coral is a really big problem. I was really surprised that, for example, 30% of torch corals are illegal. Be kind to each other. Have a fantastic day. See you next time. Bye.